The best way to find out what this super strong planetary glue is, is to discover its power in the weightless environment of space. It's why I've come to this Air Force base, where astronauts are trained. I'll be honest, I am pretty thrilled right now because I am about to boldly go where quite a few have gone before. Not actually going into space, there were budgetary issues with that. But never mind, because we have come up with the very next best thing for our purposes. Where I'm headed is over there. This plane offers thrill-seekers something unique. It can cancel out the Earth's gravity. For me, it means I can recreate the conditions in which that elemental dust began to make a planet. Hi, Richard. Hey, how you doing? Hey, good to see you. Welcome I, aboard. You ready I, for... I'm, uh, re I'm ready. Ready for a unique experience? I don't know. I've never Let's tried it, it, obviously. Let's see. On today's flight, my chaperone is Dan Durder. Thank you. An expert on space dust. All right, Richard, I think, uh, what seat are you here? I'm 2F. I just, <laughs> with the context, having this conversation is hilarious. <laughs> right. I should imagine all astronauts do this. The flight attendant service on the space flights is not quite I was wondering about that. Though. Did they yeah. have, like, a trolley with all space food on it? <laughs> I got a window seat, but there is no window. That's on purpose. I don't doubt it. A lack of windows isn't the only strange thing about this plane. It's also got a padded interior, sort of like a flying asylum. That's because within 15 minutes, we are going to experience weightlessness. And those zero gravity conditions will allow Dan to show me a fascinating experiment. Inside this Perspex box is the next step to building a planet. We're going to simulate the way the planets formed in the very earliest days of the solar system. Uh, instead of microscopic dust particles, I've got coffee, ordinary coffee. So in this little box, we're going to see exhibited what it was that brought stuff together. Absolutely. And so this is what kick-starts the whole process. Big things have small beginnings. So it all starts with a coffee. It all starts with early coffee. It's like my day. It does all start with a coffee. <laughs> Even the solar system starts with coffee. As it turns out, we should see. Right, switch gravity off then. That's right. It doesn't work. It's broken. The plane is now climbing to 34,000 feet. Once there, it'll throttle back down to Earth in a steep arc, perfectly judged so that inside, we're falling at the same rate as the plane drops. The result? A few moments of weightlessness. Oh, I swam! I did swim! <laughs> oh, that's peculiar. <laughs> oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, we got it! Is look it at it, Richard, look at it! See, that's what I was trying uh, to show you. Unfortunately, I'm upside down. I, I can't... I, I can't... It's there over there. Hang on, it's... You come here to do these experiments all the time. Right, I'm going to watch, but I'm going to do it upside down. Why are you better at this than I am? I'm really struggling. I'm... I'm no gravity. Uh, there it is. <laughs> what are we looking for? We're now weightless. That's how our planet started. So these clumps, what's bringing them together? Electrostatic forces. Electrostatics clumping this coffee together. So this is the effect. This is what starts it all off. It's hard to concentrate when I'm floating, but that's that's not gravity causing that clumping. I'm on the roof! How did I get on the roof? And now I'm on the floor. <laughs> now gravity is coming back into play and, and it's all gone. It doesn't work. That's why we're that's why we're weightless, to see phenomena that we can't normally see when gravity's turned on. So what's happening here? These coffee grains, like that first cosmic dust, rub together as they float. This means individual grains get either negatively or positively charged. And this static charge means they stick together. 
just like the fledgling particles of the Earth four and a half billion years ago. This is as near as we're going to get to being out there with those particles, without gravity. How cool is that? Oh! <laughs> you to know that I did that only because it was the best way of demonstrating an essential principle in building a planet and not because I had any fun at all it was yeah you know, it's quite boring I love that <laughs> <laughs> 